Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. seeking common Joes and Janes and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few stars short of a constellation. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Billy! Yay! Hey! And we got Roman! We have Roman here! Yeah! Now remember, it's all or nothing on street smarts, guys. That means the winner gets the bucks while the loser is reminded that losing sucks. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, Uliani taught me how to cut the rug Polynesian style. Uilani. Yes. Where are you from and what do you do for a living? I'm from Hawaii and I make jewelry. Oh, now, so are you wearing some of the jewelry you make? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Does your name mean anything in Hawaiian? It means the beautiful heaven. Oh, wow, very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> now, I understand you're an expert at Polynesian dancing. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm sorry you had to see that. And I got Christy fulfilling some dreams on Pier 39. So Christy, what do you do down here in San Francisco? Well, I stand here at Pier 39 and people come up and take photographs with me. Uh, I fit a stereotype that they've only dreamed about. So this gives them the opportunity to meet me in person. Christy, give me the leg kick. Oh, wow, stop. <laughs> Christy, what three words best describe you? Sex, sex, and more sex. <laughs> There's Christy. Uh, finally, Dante in Los Angeles explained how he lost his pants, but not his mojo. Dante, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, I got my pants put down while I was on stage performing. <laughs> no, wait, tell us about performing. What do you do? Uh, I'm in a singing group called Third Story. Dante, what's your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie is Austin Powers. Oh, the first one? Yes, the first one. Can you give me a little Austin Powers impression? Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> we got a great show here today. These are three great people here. It's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question of all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess is going to get you 100 bucks. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's get busy. Baby. Here's the first question I asked to Uliani, Christy, and Dante. <laughs> what was Gary Coleman's catchphrase on different strokes? Who knew it? Flip up your paddles, guys. Let me know. Billy and Rowan, do you think uh, Uliani, Christy, or Dante knew Gary Coleman's catchphrase? Okay. All right, and Billy's rolling. Okay, you're both locked in. You're both thinking Dante knows, huh? All right, well, before we check in with Dante, let's see what Uliani has to say for fun. What was Gary Coleman's catchphrase on different strokes? I know it wasn't dynamite. Right. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, it was probably, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what he would say. He would come in and go, Mr. Drummond? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was for fun. Now listen, Billy, you think Dante's gonna know this, I huh? I think Dante's got it. He seems like he's the most with it, All so right. we'll see. And Rowan, you agree? Yeah, he's the new age uh, Gary Coleman. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's find out, see if he knows. What was Gary Coleman's catchphrase on different strokes? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what are you talking about, Dad? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about, Mr. D? What are you talking about? <laughs> You both had Dante, he got it right. Way to go, guys. $100 for each of you. Way to go. Here's the next question. I asked all three, what is the wife of a baron called? Who knew it? Do you think it was Uliani, Christy, or Dante knew what a wife of a baron is called? All right, okay. Okay, you guys are locked in. Uh, you guys are locked in, and again, you went with the same choice. You both think uh, Christy knows. Roman, you think Christy will know yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, the guy, I think, knows about the life of anybody. So right, okay. Anything, so he'll know. you copying me. You, oh, <laughs> might be the law. Protect your answer next time. All right, let's see if he knows the answer for both of you. What is the wife of a baron called? The wife of a baron. It must be the empress. The empress. There you go. That's a wrong answer. You both had Christy. I'm um, sorry, that's not correct. The correct answer, Uliani knew. Let's check it out. What is the wife of a baron called? Baroness. And what is a baron? What is a baroness? I don't know. A baroness is the baron's wife. <laughs> okay, but what is, it? what is that, royalty? Of course. Okay. All right, there it is. It's a baroness. Here's the last question of the round, guys. Um, no cheating this time. I asked uh, all three, what are you doing if you're moonlighting? Who knew it? Do you think it was Uliani, Christy, or Dante could tell us what moonlighting is? All right, and okay, you're locked in. No copying this time. Very good. Uh, Billy, you think Uliani and Roman, you think Dante knows, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, Christy no doubt knows, but okay. Dante will know it too. So. Okay, let's see if Absolutely. Dante knows. What are you doing if you're moonlighting? You're showing your rear end. 
You're, you're pulling your pants down? Yeah, you're pulling your pants down. Okay, I'm sorry, Robin, that's a wrong answer. Dante did not know that. Now, Bill, you think Uliani can come through for you? I think she does, yeah. All I right, think she's going to pull through for me. Okay, you'll take the lead if she does. Let's see. What are you doing if you're moonlighting? If you're moonlighting, you're kissing. Oh. When was the last time you moonlighted? Last night. With, with who? a moon out here. Oh. And who were you moonlighting with? My shitty. Is that him right there? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, she got it wrong too, Billy. She didn't know either. The correct answer. Let's go to Christy in the middle here. What are you doing if you're moonlighting? Oh gosh, honey, that just simply means that I'm working them two at one time. <laughs> two what at a time? It means that you're working two jobs at one time. All right, that was the correct answer. Thank you, Christy. All right, let's recap the scores here. Billy, you got a hundred dollars. Roman, you also got a hundred bucks. We just saw who knew. Blowing when we come back. I'm getting paid right now. Uh -uh. Everyone in the office is watching this, aren't they? Hi, guys. <laughs> Keep writing questions. What is a gallop pole? It's when a horse gallops really quick. Like, tell me what it looks like when you're galloping on a horse. <laughs> Back to Street Smarts, let's meet our players. We have the lovely Billy here. Now, Billy, uh, you're a big fan of the crocodile hunter on Animal Planet, and you do an impression of him? That's right, Frank. Today on Street Smarts, we're exploring the minds of the world's most dangerous creature, the Homo sapien. Now, my training's quite limited with this species, so it's very dangerous. <laughs> One wrong move, and there's no chance of survival. <laughs> very nice, right? very nice. Very nice. All right, now. Now, Roman here, Roman, you can speak five different languages. Can you give us a little yes. example? I'll tell you why I'm here today. Okay. Ich will viel Geld gewinnen mit Street Smarts. Je veux gagner beaucoup d'argent à Street Smart. Yo quiero ganar mucho dinero à Street Smart. Voglio vincere molti di soldi à Street Smart. I want to be a win big money, Frank! Well, that's right. why I'm here! It's funny yeah. that English is the one he messed up on. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. it's time to... <laughs> <laughs> it's time to head down to the storm cellar as we start our next round. Who blew it? It's time to ask the same question. Only two of our asphalt Einsteins. One answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Billy or Roman correctly identifies who flubbed the question, they get 200 bucks. And you guys can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how. When you hear a question you think your opponent's too pinheaded to answer, pound the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. Remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. Okay, guys, here's the first question I asked to both Christy and Dante. Finish Julius Caesar's famous quote. I, okay, Billy, you've been dunced. Robin, throw it up on her head there. $200 on the line. Hand off. Okay, Billy. I'm going to finish the whole question now for you. you got five seconds to answer this. If you cannot answer it, he gets the $200. But if you get it right, the money stays with you. Finish Julius Caesar's famous quote. I came, I saw, I... Conquered. That's the right answer. She totally conquered Roman's dunce. Roman on Roman. Nice job, Bill. You get the 200 bucks. Sweet. All right, guys. Now flip up your paddles. And um, who do you guys think blew that one? Do you think it was Christy or Dante? So flip up your... Uh, uh, things there. I don't even know what we call them. And anyway, uh, who blew it? Do you think it was uh, Christy or Dante? Okay, you're both locked in and you're both going with Dante. Uh, Billy, you think Dante's going to blow this one? I think Dante's going to blow it. He knows a lot, but I don't know about Julius Caesar. Okay, Roman, you look lovely. Let's find out. <laughs> Finish Julius Caesar's famous quote. I came, I saw, I... I conquered! I conquered it! <laughs> We conquered it. <laughs> you both had Dante. He got it. He got it right. I'm sorry, guys. He didn't blow it. It looks like uh, Christie's the one who blew it. Let's find out. <laughs> Finish Julius Caesar's famous quote. I came. I saw. I. I went. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. All right, guys. Here's the next question I asked to Uliani and to Dante. We've all heard of Uncle Sam, but who's the son of Sam? Who blew it, guys? Do you think it was Uliani or Dante? Did not know the answer to that one. $200 on the line for whoever predicts this correct. Billy's got a slight lead. Okay, you're locked in here. And uh, you're okay. And Roman, you think Uliani blew this? Yeah, she's too pretty, beautiful, uh, you know, to know that. I okay, think. let's see if we can tie up the game for you. We've all heard of Uncle Sam, yeah. but who's the son of Sam? Hmm. That's that uh, what, something witch guy that uh, murdered all those people. He's a serial killer. Yeah. 
That's the correct answer. I'm sorry, Roman. She knew who it was. She knew it was. It looks like Dante is the one who blew it. Let's find out what he said. We've all heard of Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. But who's the son of Sam? Bill Gates. Bill Gates is the son of Sam? Bill Gates is the son of Sam. He blew it, Billy. Way to go. Another $200 for you. Got a nice little lead build here. Serial killer David Berkowitz. Okay, here's the last question I asked in the round, guys. I asked to Christy and to Dante. Figuratively speaking, what does it mean if you have a green thumb? Who blew it? Do you think it was Christy or Dante that blew that one? Mm. All right, let's see, Roman, you gotta come through here. All right, we're, uh, you're locked in, and uh, let's see, you think Dante, huh, Billy? Well, I know Christy's gonna know that one, so I'm okay. gonna have to go with Dante. Okay, let's find out. Figuratively speaking, what does it mean if you have a green thumb? If you have a green thumb, you have a fungus. You have a fungus? You have a fungus. You ever catch anything that gave you a green thumb? Oh, no, 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 not at all. He blew it, Billy. You have Dante. That is the wrong answer. Uh, we asked, figuratively speaking, if you had fungus on your thumb, it could mean that. But the correct answer is you're an excellent gardener, so it looks like Christy's the one who got that right. So, Roman, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. All right, let's recap the scores. Roman, 100 bucks after two Don't rounds. Go, it's all right. But Billy's got 700 bucks. She's smoking. She conquered. Now that our players think they know our rose colors, we'll see who they choose to ride when we come back. <laughs> what is a Fender Stratocaster? That is so easy. We have those so common up here in Minnesota. That is where, like on a vehicle, the Fender that goes over the vehicle, it kind of flaps out a little bit, waves in the wind. It's, it's so rusted out. That's what we call a Fender Stratocaster. <laughs> it's an easy one. Yes, it was easy. I mean, come on, it's Minnesota. If someone's holding your pistachios, what are they holding? Someone's holding my pistachios, to put it in a literal term. They are holding my nuts. <laughs> Welcome back. Mount your steed and grab the reins because it's time to pick your pony. This time, Billy and Roman will each choose one of the three eggheads for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks now, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round, too. It can only be used once, and it's now worth 300 bones. Now, the player who is trailing chooses first. That's Roman, so who would you like to giddy up on, buddy? I'm gonna go with Uliani, You're gonna because go with Uliani? by now, I think I figured it out. Okay, all right, and Billy, what about you? I'm going with Christy. You're going with Christy in the middle? All right, very good. Okay, Roman, uh, here's the first question to Uliani. When would you receive your last rights? Do you think, oh my God, you've been done. Billy, throw the cap up with your woman. $300 on the line. You need this money or she'll open up a really big lead. I'm gonna read it again, you got five seconds. When would you receive your last rights? Before your execution? That's the right answer, way to go, Roman. Thank you. you. Put the cap on Billy for dunking you. You blocked your dunce, nice job, buddy. Okay, uh, if you get this right, you'll tie up the game. So what do you think? Do you think Uliani got it right or wrong? I would say, that she's gonna know this one by watching the news. Okay, so, so you I'm think go. she's gonna be right? Let's see when you tie up this game. When would you receive your last rights? When did I? No, when would you? When I die. Right. What are, what are the last rights, what do they say? They say, go to heaven. <laughs> she got it right, way to go, Roman. That gives you $700 uh, for the total. You made uh, 600 bucks off that question, we got a tie game. All right, Billy, you uh, gotta get back in the lead here. I asked Christy, who is Dan Quayle? Do you think Christy got that right or wrong? All right, right or wrong? You think you knew who Dan Quayle was? I think Christy got it right. Okay, that's a correct prediction. You'll take the lead with 300 bucks. Let's see. Who is Dan Quayle? Dan Quayle is a former vice president of the United States of America. And who did he serve under? Who was the, the president when he was vice president? Oh, let's see. I think he was under Carter's desk at the time. He was his right-hand man. You know what I mean? I think he was under Bush. Was he under a bush too? It wouldn't surprise me. I've seen him around a lot. <laughs> he got it right, Billy. Way to go. You got your lead back. You're up to thousand dollars. Okay, Roman. Here's the next question to Uliani. I asked her, "What animal has a reputation for waking farmers up in the morning?" Yeah. Do you think she got that right or wrong? What do you think, buddy? Uh, she better get that one. You right. think she's gonna get it right? All right, let's find out. <laughs> what animal has a reputation for waking farmers up in the morning? A pig. A pig? <laughs> How do they wake him up? <laughs> Next one. Oh, she got it wrong, Robert. I'm sorry. The correct oh. answer is uh, a rooster. A rooster. All right, sorry. Okay, Billy, here's the next question to Christy. I asked uh, him, her, him, <laughs> what is Judge Judy's first name? 
Oh, I think Christy's gonna get this right. <laughs> okay, what is Judge Judy's first name? Let's find out. <laughs> what is Judge Judy's first name? Oh, the poor darling with a name like that. Um, her name is Jane, of course. Jane Judge Judy. <laughs> he did not know that, Billy. I'm sorry, you thought he'd get it right. Uh, Judge Judy's first name is uh, Judy. <laughs> Judge Judy Scheindlin is her last name. All right, Roman, here's the next question uh, to Uliani. This is the last one of the round for you. I asked her, why didn't Cassius Clay ever fight Muhammad Ali? I think she got that right or wrong? Uh, I think she got that wrong. She got it wrong? Fighting's not her thing. Fighting's not her no. thing? All right, let's find no. out. Ooh, Ilani, yes. why didn't Cassius Clay ever fight Muhammad Ali? Oh, come on. I know that. They're what? Same guy, man. What the hell? the same guy. Fight himself. She got that right, Roman, so maybe she is a bigger boxing fan than you thought. You're still stuck on $700. Uh -huh. uh, Bill, you have $1,000. You have a nice $300 oh, yeah. lead here. Now, uh, this is the last question of the round, and it goes to uh, Christy out there in San Francisco. And uh, yeah, I'm as shocked as you are. Okay, uh, <laughs> Billy, you can extend your lead here. I asked Christy this last question. Former Vice President Dan Quayle couldn't spell potato. Can you? So mm. do you think he could spell the word potato, Billy? Ooh, that's a hard one. Oh. Ugh, I'm gonna say wrong. <laughs> yeah. right, let's see if we can open up a lead here for you. Christy, former Vice President Dan Quayle couldn't spell potato. Can you? P O T A T O. Potato. It's also known as a spud. <laughs> he got it right, Billy. I'm sorry. Uh, Dan Quayle, of course, put the E on there, but Christy got it right. All right, let's recap nice the scores. Roman's got $700. Yeah. Had that key down some round three. But Billy's got $1,000, so Billy's in the lead. When we return, Billy and Roman will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Uliani, Christy, and Dante. I showed them all this card, and I asked them, what is this an abbreviation for? Okay? Our players have a date with destiny in our final round. The wager of... Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Roman, here's the dealio. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Now, let's see. Uh, Roman, you got 700 bucks. Billy's got 1,000 bucks. All right. Now, remember, only the winner leaves with the bread, which means it all rides on this final prediction. Now, here's a question I asked to Uliani, Christy, and Dante. <laughs> okay, I have to laugh when I see that. I asked them, what is this an abbreviation for? That right there, okay? So let's get your choices. Roman, you're trailing, but you're so in this, so uh, don't worry about it. Who do you want to see? I want to see my man. You're going to go with Dante. All right, now, Billy, how about you? You got a $300 lead here. You got 1000 bucks. I am also going with Oh, you're going with Dante. with Dante, too. All right, well, nobody chose uh, Uliani, Uliani or Christie, so we're going to say bye to them. So we're down to one clip here. This is the last clip of the show. You both went with Dante, so all the money rides on this one. Let's see what happens. Dante, what is this an abbreviation for? Okay. Ah, um, ounces. Ounces, there you go. Okay, Dante got that right. That's a correct, ounce, uh, correct answer, ounces. All right, Roman, you got 700 bucks. You went with Dante. Did you say he would get it right or wrong? You thought he would get it wrong. Oh, no, how much, you, how much did you wager your 700, Roman? How much it we wagered? 500 bucks. I bust you down to 200 bucks. All right, well, you're not out of this yet. Now, Billy, you also chose Dante. Now, Roman thought he was going to get it wrong. He got it right, though. What did you say he would do? You said, oh, you said he would get it right. Billy, how much are you going to add to your total? How much did you wager? How much did you wager of your thousand? She's going to go home with $1,050. What is this an abbreviation for? Oz. An abbreviation for Oz? It's, uh, yeah, the Wizard of Oz, you know? Yeah. Christy, what's this an abbreviation for? Home. <laughs> OC is an abbreviation for the land of Oz. There you go. And how do you get to Oz? Well, I just followed the yellow brick road. 